You said that there are other writings that, that you also think are inaccurate here. Bob Woodward had this book that just is about to come out describing in detail a number of incidents inside the White House where he basically describes people around the president trying to protect the country from him. What is it that you think is inaccurate in his description? Well, the only thing that's wrong about that narrative is everything, because it it shows it, it shows a, a complete misunderstanding of how this White House works. I mean, what, what President Trump provides for this country every day is strong and decisive leadership in the Oval Office. The narrative that I've picked up in in not only this book but the opinion editorial is suggests that uh, that that things are happening in spite of the president's leadership and nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, I mean our founders envisioned uh, all executive power be invested in the president of the United States and the American people should know all the progress that we're making is a result of the fact that President Trump engages in debate, he gets all of the facts and he's not afraid Woodward to make a decision and has, move forward. He spoke to a hundred people. He has recordings. He has notes to back up these first-hand accounts. I mean, one of the instances was uh, he said that the president was stopped from tweeting about withdrawing U.S. personnel from South Korea because North Korea would view it as an act of war. These are specific instances. Are you saying they didn't happen? What that suggests, and and what I what I get from other examples and narratives is. Uh, is that 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 people are are managing the president when in fact what happens in the white house every day margaret is the president invites opinions he tends to put people around the resolute desk in the oval office who have diverse views and 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 he invites a vigorous debate uh, over what policies ought to be embraced then he makes a decision and we go forward whether it's foreign policy domestic policy uh, whether it's uh, legislation on capitol hill and you that's think he exactly respects those advisors? Of, that's exactly the kind of leadership the American people wanted when they elected President Donald Trump. But some of the instances here are really specific. The president publicly has mocked Jeff Sessions, but in this book, these are specific instances of uh, disregarding the Commerce Secretary to his face, insulting other cabinet officials. Do you dispute all of these examples? Well, I, I, I would tell you, I know this president has great respect for the men and women who serve in this cabinet. And the, these accounts are very foreign to me. And, I, and I, I, I'm just not aware of instances where they've occurred and or, or where they would occur. But look, I, I, I want to stipulate that uh, working in the White House is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, this president is tough. He's demanding. Uh, he wants things yesterday. And I think it's one of the reasons why we've accomplished so much in such a short period of time. I mean, the truth is, I think President Donald Trump is the most accomplished president of my lifetime, and I think already one of the most successful presidents in American history in our first two years. Do you think people should be fired years. because of this? Well, I, I truly believe that, um, that whoever penned this opinion editorial should do the honorable thing and resign. I mean, the, the truth of the matter is that the the, uh, the opinions that they expressed um, are not only deceitful and false, but they're also un-American, and they represent an assault on our democracy.